Hi, welcome back to McClatchy Maths. My name is Natalie McClatchy and today I'm going to be taking you through the first question from paper two. This was on 2021's external exams for Queensland's for general maths. So let's read the question. Question one is worth four marks. A sailor anchors her yacht near Rocky Island at 14 degrees 52 minutes south, 145 degrees 29 minutes east. Her yacht is at the same latitude as her home, but the sun rises exactly one hour and 30 minutes later at home. What are the coordinates of her home? Now, if you're a little bit like me and you've just walked into an exam and you suddenly see something like this, a worded problem with numbers and Oh, it can be very tempting to have a bit of a mental freak out, but it's really not that difficult a question. As you can see, it's only worth four marks as well. So it should only take us about five minutes to get through the question tops. Okay, so let's, first of all, engage some of our problem solving skills. So if you are like me, I love Polly as problem solving model. See, plan, do, check. It's a really easy model to follow. So C, let's have a look at the key information here. First of all, we've got some coordinates. That's probably the bit that's overwhelmed you first. We'll come back to that in a minute. Also, we have some information about the latitude. The yacht is at the same latitude. That's pretty important. And also we've got some information about the sunrise. That's also our key information here as well. So let's first of all think about what does the sunrise tell us about her home? Well, it tells us that her home is west of the yacht because if the yacht is getting sunrise first and home is getting it later then that means the yacht is in the east and the home is in the west so that's our first clue okay it also tells us a little bit based on that time that they are apart about the distance how far west that particular home is from the yacht so let's work out that distance in terms of degrees not kilometers we're going to work out the angular diff distance uh, between the yacht and the home. So firstly, let's remember that there are 360 degrees in the turn of the earth because it's a sphere and there's 24 hours in one day. So we can work out how far the earth turns in an hour, even if you can't remember it. It's easy enough to memorize it, but if you can't remember it, it's easy to work out. 360 degrees divided by 24 hours gives us 15 degrees that the earth turns every hour. So we know that because her, um, her house is an hour and 13 minutes later that there's at least 15 degrees okay so we've got 15 degrees west plus these pesky 13 minutes whatever fraction that 13 minutes is of one hour so we can work out what fraction of an hour that is 13 divided by 60 because there's 60 minutes in one hour and if we multiply that by 15 degrees we're going to get what fraction of the 15 degrees that 13 minutes makes up and it's 3.25 degrees very nice that it worked out to be a little nice number okay so if we add those two together now the hour plus the 13 minutes is 15 degrees for every hour and the fraction of the hour is 3.25 degrees so that gives us 18.25 degrees west of the yacht that's where her home is so we've got some key information now we know how far apart they are in terms of angular distance okay so now this was our first mark doing that actual fraction of the hour and adding it to the 15 degrees if we got the 18.25 degrees we got our first mark so now we need to think about those coordinates and I know a lot of students panic when they see degrees and minutes don't worry I'm going to show you how to do this on the calculator in a moment Okay, so you first of all need to recall that when you read coordinates, latitude is stated first, longitude second. And the quick way to remember that is LA comes before LO in the alphabet. Now, first, that means that the 14 degrees 52 minutes south is the latitude, and that's the same latitude. So they're common to one another. So we know that that first half of the coordinates, there's going to be the same for the yacht and the house. So we don't have to do anything to that one. We can leave that as it is. So we know we're going to be doing something with 18 um, degrees to the 145 degrees. So by actually identifying that latitude correctly, we got our second mark. So we're halfway there now in terms of marks. So now we've got to work out the longitude of home. The logical question we're going to ask ourselves is, we've worked out they're different by 18.25 degrees, but do we add it to the 145 degrees or do we subtract it? That can be a little bit of a, a logical question that we have to ask ourselves what do I do next well if you're not sure a quick way to do it is to come up with a quick sketch 
So I've drawn a very quick one here. So I always start with the north line, which is my Greenwich meridian, and that's the, um, or the prime meridian, that's zero degrees. Okay, and then I'm going to put east on there. I don't need to put west and south. They're not relevant to the particular task. So I'll put really long line to the east because 145 degrees is a long way across from um, England. And there's our yacht at 145 degrees. Now, home was to the west of that, if you remember. So if I'm thinking on a, on a number line from 0 to 145, then the home is going to be actually closer it's going to be less than 145 degrees in terms of its coordinates because it's got to be between that 0 and the 145, which means I'm going to be subtracting it. So now that I've worked that out, I always find a picture helps me. Maybe you're like me and you're a visual learner. I really like a little quick sketch that obviously took a long time to work out on PowerPoint, but if you were doing it on your paper, you could literally pull that together in a few seconds, and that's going to be a key to helping you get this problem solved. Okay, so now we need to subtract it on the calculator. So I'm going to get my calculator ready and show you how to do this problem. Okay, so I've got my Casio calculator here. If you're using a different calculator, it might be a little bit different in terms of where the buttons are. But I'm going to be doing 145 degrees and I've got these 29 minutes. And that's where a lot of people get a bit confused because we've got these 18.25 degrees and they're in different because 0.25 of a degree is different. It's actually part of a minute, sorry, part of a degree, which means it needs to be changed into minutes. So what I'm going to do firstly is change the 145.2, um, it's not 0.29, it's 145 degrees. So I actually need to press this degrees button here. So it's a little funny one, it looks like um, speech marks on your actual calculator. And then I'm going to add the 29. So now I've got 145 degrees and it looks like 29 degrees but if I press the equals button it's going to change that into degrees and minutes okay but I want to be able to work in the same kind of um, units of measurement with the 18.25 which is a different set of units of measurement it's decimal degrees so what I'm going to do is change this now into um, decimal degrees and to do that I'm going to press that speech mark looking button again. So now I've got this in decimal degrees and it's really easy now. I'm going to do, take away 18.25. Don't need to press the degrees button because now they're in the same units of measurement. And I'm going to get 127.233333. Now what I want to do is change this back to decimals, not from, from decimals to degrees and minutes again, because if you would remember, the question was given to me in degrees and minutes, and I've already got my latitude in degrees and minutes, so I don't want to give half of it in degrees and minutes and half in decimals. In fact, with the marking scheme, it didn't really matter all that much. I would have still been awarded the marks, but let's get a little bit technical. Okay, so to change that back, I'm just going to press this button one more time, and what I get is 127 degrees 14 minutes is the final answer. Okay, now that I've actually worked that out, I could have given that either way um, and I would have still got the mark. And the fact that I've shown that I've done a subtraction, I actually have to show that working, um, means that I get my third mark. And then I should also write a statement because it is a worded problem. So I should give my final statement with my latitude first exactly the same as the question and my longitude and I've converted that back so that they're in the same format and then I'm awarded with my fourth mark. Well I hope you found this helpful today and if you did why not tell somebody about this video you could share it with your teacher share it with some of the friends in your class and you could like and subscribe to the channel so you know when we've got our next videos up ready to help you with those external exams. And if you would like to ask us any questions about anything you saw in today's video or you'd like to recommend a new video topic or anything like that, you can contact us at clutchymass at yahoo.com or you could direct messages on Facebook and Instagram, another great place to stay in touch. Well, you've been watching McClutchy Maths today. I'm Natalie McClutchy. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.